What's up dudes? It's Guterin. I'm going to show you guys how to do the Cosmo Canyon skip. This skip is fairly new. It was found a few months ago. I'm not sure who originally found it. Um, I found it through Oddmog, which he did it in his uh, newest speed run uh, for the PS4 any percent. So this skip is only possible on PS4, Xbox One, or Switch. Um, solely because you have to have no, or you have to have random encounters turned off for this to work. And I'll explain why here in a second. So to prepare for this, um, you're going to need Chocobo Lure. So if you're doing a speed run, you need to make sure that you get Chocobo Lure right after Calm. Make sure you have 2,000 gil so you can buy Chocobo Lure. And also you need to have something to be able to one-shot enemies. Um, for me, that's Molotovs, which is really easy to get right before this. Um, I make sure I have... You only need two Molotovs, but just make sure you have a decent amount of Molotovs to kill enemies. So you're right here, this is right after Gold Saucer, you just got the buggy, and you're going to go right over here to these these uh, Chocobo, this Chocobo area right up here. Normally what I would do is I would go get Aqua Lung real quick, right here. Um, if Aqua Lung is not something you care about for your run or for your playthrough or whatever, you don't have to. Um, so if you get Aqua Lung or if you don't, right after you'll go right over here to these Chocobo footprints. So you can capture a chocobo. The first thing you would do, obviously, is just put on chocobo lure. I've seen other videos where they're like, you gotta put on long range and steel. None of that is necessary whatsoever. Literally all you need is chocobo lure and some molotovs or some other way to one-shot enemies. So we're gonna try to get a chocobo encounter. None of the uh, boosters are required at all, so I don't, you don't need times three speed or anything. I'm just doing it because that's what I would normally do in a speed run. You need to turn random encounters. For the booster to turn random encounters off, you need to turn that off so you can get random encounters right here. And now there's about a, apparently, a 7% chance to get a chocobo encounter. So there is an RNG factor. The RNG gods blessed us this time. So I will turn off time three speed immediately so the chocobo doesn't run away just so I have enough time to kill the enemies before I get the chocobo so right here you're gonna want to turn random counters off because that is crucial because we're going to glitch ourselves to think we're still in a chocobo glitch the game to thinking we're still in a chocobo yet getting in a buggy and you don't want to have random encounters or else the chocobo will run away so, we have random counters off, we're right here, we got the chocobo, and what you want to do is go right over the sand pit, go to the right side of it. I like having this camera orientation just so it's easier to kind of see where you're at. You're going to go left into the sand pit with your chocobo. You're going to confirm these couple dialogues, and you're going to get out immediately. And as you're getting out, I guess it's not immediately, it doesn't matter, you can wait here. You're going to get out, and you're going to... Point yourself away from the sand pit. You don't want to go back in the sand pit. So I'm going to get out and I'm going to confirm this dialogue and I'm going to start heading out from the sand pit. And you see that Cloud is kind of like in some slight, some paralyzed floating state. The game is confused. Thinks you're still in the chocobo. Do not confirm this dialogue. Do not go into the sand pit. And you're going to go into the buggy and you're going to enter with circle or whatever it is for your console. Um, into the buggy. Do not click that button before you get in the buggy though. So, in the buggy. And now we're gonna go right over to Cosmo Canyon. And right now the game thinks you're still in the Chocobo. Which is the essential for the skip. Which is the reason why we can even do this skip. So, the positioning on this is uh, pretty important. I like having the camera, intuition, camera orientation like this, just so I can see where I'm at. I usually turn time three speed off just so I can position myself per, uh, perfectly. So this is where everything can go wrong. If you mess this up, you're screwed. You got to go to Cosmo Canyon. Um, so you usually want to get your buggy about like right here. So I'll kind of skip along just so you're like kind of right past the crack. And now this is the hardest part of the entire skip. So what you're going to want to do is get out, um, whatever that button may be for you. Um, get right back in. So as you're getting right back in, you're mashing for you for PS4. It's a circle button. You're mashing circle, but you're also holding up and left. 
And the reason why you want to hold left is just so you can continue to go the direction you want to go. But you want to hold up because as you get out of the buggy, you're facing down. So if you didn't hold up, you may not really get back in the buggy. So I'm going to try this out. Hopefully we get it. And if this works, we've successfully passed Cosmic Canyon. We did it. So usually right here, if you try to do that without this whole skip, the, the buggy would shut down and you'd be forced to go in Cosmic Canyon. Now we're kind of like, we tricked the game. It's It thinks we just got out of Chocobo as we exited the buggy and it, we got right back in. The game is tricked. There's one other small thing about this skip, not necessary for skipping Cosmic Canyon, but if you were to get out right now, uh, the game would do its whole buggy shutdown thing. You lose like five, 10 seconds. Uh, so there's one more trick, and this isn't, like, super necessary. You want to go to Nibelheim immediately, get out, and hold up. You can go right in Nibelheim, and you won't have the whole buggy shutdown sequence. I like that. So we did the skip. So, all in all, for my run, that would save me about five minutes, um, especially for a slots run. Especially because I like to have slots before Materia Keeper, so as I was fighting the enemies... Um, usually it wasn't it's not that easy it's not like you only get one encounter and then a chocobo encounter usually it could be up to 10 you know with the or more because it's a seven percent chance to do a chocobo encounter so um really good for ps4 any percent or any of the console any percent um if you guys notice anything or know any ways to improve the skip feel free to comment and share this to everybody so thanks guys